Hi, my name's Keith. I'm one of the lecturers here at Sunderland College, and I'm going to show you today how to make a perfect pancake. So, to make the crepe batter, you will need flour, milk, eggs, butter. Butter is just to enrich it and give it a nicer flavour. Pancake batter. First thing I'm going to do: 200 grams of plain flour into my sieve. Then sieve it to make sure there's no impurities in it make the batter nice and light and fluffy. So once your flour is sieved, in with the wet ingredients, which is milk, about half a litre. Not add it all at once in case you need to adjust it. And then in with the eggs. And so whisk that to a nice smooth batter with the almonds. vigorously so you make sure you get all the lumps out of there and you end up with your batter lovely and smooth. So it wants to be about the consistency of double cream. And that's it. So I'll transfer that into a jug to make it easier to pour the batter into the pan. Now it's time to make the pancakes. Final touch just to finish the batter is about 50 ml of melted butter. And what that does just enriches the batter and gives it a nice little bit of flavour. So I'm going to whisk that in to the batter. And then we're ready to go. So I've got my crepe pan, thin side of pan, cast iron, nicely seasoned so it's non stick, hopefully. A little bit of oil, not too much. And then in with the batter. So what to do, a little full of batter. Pan handle in one hand, ladle in the other, into the centre, and then roll your batter around. Right to the edges. And then give a little tap on the stove. Here's a pallet knife, Just run it around the edges to release it. And you start to see little bubbles fall on the top and that's telling you it's nearly ready to flip. Make sure it's released first. And I'm going to go for the big flip. Straight over. And cut it on the other side. I've got my plate ready. Shake the silicon paper. Straight on. And then we do it. Repeat the process again. Double cream, soft dark brown sugar, butter, bananas. Right, so for the toffee sauce, what I'm going to do is nice hot pan onto the stove, add your brown sugar, and that will caramelise in with your double cream. in with your butter. Give that a stir. As soon as the butter's melted and it's reduced, you have a lovely, rich, tasty toffee sauce. And you can use any, any type of sugar, but soft dark brown sugar is the best, because it's got a nicer flavour and you get a better colour. Just going to let that butter and the sauce reduce and just prep the banana. All I'm going to do, peel it, and then just slice it on an angle. Hey guys, Cassie here, and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make the easiest pancakes in the world. Best part is, it's only two ingredients, and it's 100% natural. It's gluten-free, it's dairy-free, it's processed sugar-free, and it's low calories, so easy. Even for those of you that don't like to cook, you have no excuse. So all you're gonna need is a banana and two eggs. Let's get started. Let's peel that banana and chop it up. Look at them skills. Then crack two whole eggs. That's right, we ain't wasting no yolk this time. Mash, mash, mash it up. Make sure you get all those bananas mixed in perfectly. All right, so once your mixture has this nice frothy texture, 
you're good to go. And then it's okay if there's some banana bits, but um, not too much because you actually want it to mix in with the egg. Today I'm using pure coconut oil, but feel free to use pan spray or Evu extra virgin olive oil. Ah, oh, the first pouring, a very sacred moment. And yes, I did put a little bit too much oil, but whatever, at least it won't stick. I typically like to make mini baby pancakes because you can just pop them in your mouth like a quick little snack. Ah, I get the goods, get the goods, every last little morsel. There we go. Check out my mad skills in flipping pancakes. Like seriously, I'm an expert. I should be an Olympic pancake flipper. Well, there you have it guys. The easiest pancake recipe you will ever find. Under 250 calories and about 14 grams of protein, there's nothing you can ask for more. It's a perfect pre-workout snack and post-workout snack because it's a great combination of carbs and protein. So let's go ahead and give these guys a bite. don't even need any syrup or anything because the banana provides that sweetness. So good. Mm. Oh, I could eat these forever. Major food gas. Oh! So guys, thank you.